trying to okay so we'll say we're trying to read the JSON again okay and when we output this message is going to be you know plain and readable nothing wrong with that All right so we can use sort of a HTML tags there to define different aspects so let's say we turn this red right, and we end our exception with color when this is displayed in the inspector we'll have a red exception leading our our string okay. and the rest the other color would be would be default so let's run that and we have to pause until the error actually comes back again but we'll, we'll see that happen here so pressing play There may be a way to force the error, but I, I wouldn't know how. No. Say yo, join the room, and let's just let that run for a while and and see when uh we get an error report. Okay, so when we get that error, error print. So I guess I'll tinker around while while we run. Let me see how things are looking everywhere else. Okay, go through my code. I won't be able to add another greeting. We can change the spawn command on the fly. So yeah, that exception is not gonna happen anytime soon. It took a very long time to happen the first time. So what I'm gonna do is throw the exception um system has tons of exceptions in there All right, let's see if that works get us to throw a quick exception so we can see our error output in color. Mm, I guess 10 seconds maybe. There we are. And we're throwing red exceptions. Cool. So that's how you beautify your exceptions. Or any output you're outputting to the log. You can change quite quite a bit of stuff in here. So now if we get an exception, that's the exception that we're gonna see. So it says trying again to read JSON. From stream. And we can color this one. How about green? And let's end our color here. 
Okay, and this can actually be part of the, the overall call here. And we can make a nice little constant out of out of all of this. So um J son exception message. I just had to plop it down somewhere so I could do some copying. All right, so here's our constant. There we are, and that equals that. So that's done, and that'll give a nice indication of, of what's going on. Let's use the format that we have available to us through our debug and eliminate this call. And we no longer want to throw exceptions every loop. That's uh, so cool. There we have it. So that's done. So that keeps us nice and neat and clean when we're trying to redeem our chat status.